Uh, Wednesday, uh, August 24th, 2016, Monaco 64, home of alternative uh, economics and contrarian views. I'd like to uh, talk about Rupert Pennant Ray. He's a former deputy governor of the Bank of England. And uh, in my YouTube channel, I t try to expose, uh, you know, central bankers and the fallacy uh, that they spout. Uh, not only central bankers, but also mainstream economists, uh, especially those of the Keynesian kind or or economists that work for major banks. Uh, a lot of the stuff they come out is completely uh, bogus. Uh, so there's an article today uh, in the FT uh, written by Rupert Pennant Ray. So right now he works for, uh, he's chairman of Royal London, uh, which I think is an insurance company. He's a former deputy of the Bank of England. And the title of the article is The Sharp Costs of Brexit Will Be Felt Soon Enough. So he writes in this article how uh, the British are going to get poorer because the pound has been devalued about 15%, you know, since Brexit. And uh, so, you know, one thing I agree with him is that Yes, the British will get poorer because the pound will go down and uh, everything that people buy uh, will go up in value or so prices will go up. I don't dis disagree with him on that. What I disagree with him is that it's uh, Brexit's fault. And uh, there's a book that I have, one of my favorite books. It's called uh, The Raven of Zurich. It's the uh, memoirs of Felix Zomery. Summary. And I'll read a little bit about him first before I quote one of uh, his comments in the book. And it says here, Felix Summary, known in his lifetime as the Raven of Zurich for his dire but accurate predictions of the future, led a life of action as a banker, social thinker, diplomat, uh, and relentless bat battler for the integrity of currencies as the key to democratic survival. So, very well respected uh, banker. He was bar born in Vienna, but uh, moved to Switzerland. Um, was a diplomat for Switzerland during World War II. So, very well respected banker. And uh, on page 98 of his book, of his memoirs, um, there's a particularly uh, interesting uh, uh, sentence here. Uh, you know, about uh, inflation. And he says, the state alone is responsible for inflation. Inflation without government or indeed against government is impossible. So, you know, that's the truth. Uh, the only way to inflate a currency is to debase it, is to print it out of thin air. And who does that? It's the government and the central bank. So here we have a former central banker and now chairman of an insurance company in the city of London saying that Brexit is the thing that caused the inf that's going to cause the inflation, you know, that it's because of Brexit that the currency has been debased. Um, well, Mr. Pennant Ray, uh, I, you know, I've had a look at the British pound and I've done videos about this before because I knew people like you would come out and blame, uh, you know, something completely bogus for the debasement of the British pound. So, you know, I I've taken the chart of the British pound, uh, a monthly chart going back to like 2006 and... Uh, you can see in 2007, we got to a high, and this is against the dollar, of course. We got to a high of 211.61 in November 2007. And uh, right now, as of 24th of August, uh, late in the day here in London, we are at 132.32. So down 37.5% since to the end of 2007. While... As Mr. Pennant Ray said, since uh, June 23rd, when the uh, 2016, when the polls closed for the referendum, 
the pound snap up, snapped up to 150 and now it's around 130, 132 or down 15%. So what about the other 22%, Mr. Pennant Ray? Was that Brexit as well? Were people talking about Brexit in 2007, 2008 when the pound collapsed? And I'll go further. As you can see as well, in two th middle of 2014, July 2014, so just over two years ago, the pound got up to 171.92. And now we're at 132.32. That's a drop of 23%. No one was talking about Brexit in the summer of 2014. It was only last year that it was announced after the elections. Um, so, Mr. Pennant Ray, Brexit is not the cause of the debasement of the currency uh, or of the pound. And, you know, that will lead to inflation and the rising cost of living. It's not because of Brexit. It's because of the government, the central bank, the Bank of England, and the Treasury policy of devaluation, which started with the 08 crisis. They had to devalue. Um, and as Mr. You know, Felix Sommeray said, only governments can create inflation. Only governments have the power because they have the power, legal tender uh, power, to counterfeit money. Uh, money that really doesn't exist. So that, you know, devalues the value of existing money. So just trying to, uh, you know, give people, um, you know, an understanding of things um, and try, you know, expose this, uh, you know, fallacy that Brexit is causing the devaluation of the pound. It's not Brexit. It's just the government policy. They don't want people to know that the government and the Bank of England are debasing the British pound or pound sterling, uh, you know, as a policy. But that's what they're doing. It's nothing to do with Brexit, uh, Mr. Pennant Ray. And um, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, this not only applies to um, the UK, it applies to every other country. It applies to the United States. I know the dollar at the moment is quite strong, relatively strong. But eventually, um, the dollar is going to devalue as well. And the only currency the dollar can devalue uh, really against without disrupting, you know, other countries' devaluations is gold and silver. I know we've had a few rough days in gold and silver, but that's just temporary. So, and if uh, the Fed comes out and and says, oh, this caused, you know, the the dollar to, to get weaker. And don't believe in it. It's the Fed and the Treasury, U.S. Treasury, that will cause that the dollar to get weaker. It's all political. They have the power to devalue the currency, and that causes inflation. So as Mr. Sommeray said, uh, inflation is purely uh, created by government. And to say that it's created against government is just totally bogus. So if you enjoy my video, my analysis, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to donate uh, to my channel, if you think, uh, you know, I add value to your views, um, there's a few links below in the description. You can donate in Bitcoin, uh, through PayPal, and through Patreon. Thanks for watching. Bye.